on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to go back to the previous OX from El Capitan. So if this hasn't been working for you, or you just want to go back because everything worked better before, this is the way to do it. This is for beta version and non-beta version, okay? So for the full version of El Capitan, you're going to do the exact same steps as you will do right now with the beta version, okay? So we're just going to turn off our Max first of all. Okay guys, so once it's off, you're supposed to turn it on and just have your fingers on Command and R. Okay, Command R, just hold that before, even before you turn it on. Then we're gonna turn it on. This is the same steps whether you have an iMac, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, whichever you have, same steps. So we're just turning it on and we're holding Command R. We're gonna hold that for about 13 to 18 seconds. It depends how long your Mac really takes to start up. Um, now you should see the Apple logo and then you're gonna see an, a loading bar. Okay, once you see the loading bar, that's when you can let go. Okay, if you let go before that, it might not work. So I suggest you holding on to this till you see the little bar and just loading a little bit at least. There's the loading bar and we're just waiting for it to complete. Uh, I already let go of the command R. As soon as I saw that, I kind of let go. You can maintain your fingers on command R. Um, I wouldn't really hold on to it more than halfway, so you can wait till halfway of the bar is filled, but that's it, okay, then let go. Okay guys, so at this point we're gonna see this, and we want to restore from my, um, our time machine, okay? Um, you can also do other, other things like reinstall a new copy of OS, and um, I wouldn't suggest doing that if you have the full version of El Capitan, because it's just gonna reinstall that one. So what you guys want to do is select your time machine right now and um, we're just going to click there and we're going to click on continue. Now time machine will have a backup of um, your previous OS so that's why you guys made the time machine backup before you upgraded right? Uh, those were part of the instructions even in my video before so you're pretty lucky. Um, so right now, no Time Machine backups were found. Well, that's wrong. All you guys have to do is just wait for it to load or just unplug and plug back in your disk and you should see something like this, okay? So once you have that, just uh, click on it. Then we're gonna click on Continue. So don't freak out if it doesn't show you right away. And we're just gonna choose the latest one uh, that was done July 11th. Okay, so that was the latest one when I had it back in um, the previous OS before it got done. And then we're just gonna click on continue. Okay, so you want to select the destination. That's your main disk, so that's my main HD inside the Mac. These are other HDs, external ones. Your main HD will always have this type of drive. It's gonna say something big. So you might recognize it because of that and because of the name. Okay, so it depends how you named it. And then we just have to put restore. And continue. Okay, so right now, it's pretty much gonna erase your previous OS. Um, anything that you made in El Capitan, for example, since you're going back in time, that means those files were ne don't exist anymore, okay? Were, were never created. So if you had any files back in the Capitan and you're going back to your other OS, make sure whatever files you made in, uh, during the time that you were with the Capitan OS, um, back those up, put those in another external hard drive, maybe in a partition from this time machine, and um, just back those up so you can put them back on once you go back, okay? So, because those will be basically erased, okay? Um, you can still... You, you might be able to still see them if you had your time machine on when it was with El Capitan. So you can just go and grab those and put them back. That's the easiest way, obviously. Um, but I would suggest just doing it this way. Putting those exact files that you created when you were in El Capitan and putting those into another external hard drive or USB drive, whatever you guys want. Now this will take some time. Um, so have your computer connected to some electricity, okay? Same thing for your iMac, just make sure um, that it won't turn off for some odd reason. So make sure everything, all your electrical components are okay. Um, for your MacBook, make sure it's connected to some electricity. Don't make it just run on battery because that will not work. And it's also gonna take a lot slower. 
Um, MacBooks in general run a little bit slower when they're not directly connected to electricity. Um, when they're running off your battery, though, a little bit slower. Now this says four hours. Um, I would actually say that that's about it. Yeah, yeah, they do take about four hours. Mate. Sometimes they only take an hour. It only depends how much information you had when you made that time machine back. Okay, so that's how long it's gonna take. Once it takes me back, I'm gonna be back in the OS from before. And remember, any files they created after that specific backup will be gone. So make sure to have those backed up. And this is the easiest way to go back. Uh, other than that, there's other ways of doing it, but this is the easiest way, the most forward way of doing it. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.